The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. I like my green with crystals like folders, picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the end like the Navajo. Crack a bottle though, make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec. Triple my check, I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose. I hit you from every angle. From up tools to right street shit like JJ of Dynamite. Slide me some dough, I show you an execution in the flesh. And promise not to leave nothing left. If you vomit, I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting. Till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is. Ears. <laughs> yeah, he's calling me blushy ears. What's blushy. up, party people? What up, y'all? Thanks for joining Mike Robertson Boulevard. We got another special show for you in the 2020 coming good and plenty baby what up y'all man in the house proud to present my good homie my longtime friend world renowned top 20 comedian in the world i put that i put you there gladly man mr freeze love and a place to be what up baby Woo! what up yeah thank you thank what you for up, having man? me on homie how my you doing dog good how you doing man good man you know i'm tripping off these little headphones man somebody yeah, has oh, some so makeup put on. My shit on yeah man we're gonna get a gang of callers hey, i'm gonna have some pink ass ears or something <laughs> yeah somebody had um, some blush on these some <laughs> blush. earphones yeah some too. bright red ears <laughs> Look like somebody boxed your ears. Man, you're going to see me home and get cut by somebody, dude. Yeah. You know? What up, though? Hey, what man, up, man, I just want to say, I don't know whether y'all know or not, but me and this dude go all the way back to my very first night in comedy. That's right, baby. And for real, it was we've been down ever since. Me and you, Danny Grayson, yo. God rest his soul. Yeah, yo, Theo. You, Man, Theo, <laughs> yo, this is this is man, my homie. Man, we my about to have boogie. some fun. That shit was a crazy night, Freeze, man. That was a crazy your night. Your first night. Nobody has a first night like that, man. Nobody. When you come on your first night and destroy the game. Freeze Love yeah. came in on night number one and killed everybody in the on the scene. It don't matter who. Freeze. You know what? What happened, man? How did you, let's talk about that. Getting on that stage, nigga, that first time. Ignorance what? is bliss. What you mean? I mean, I didn't know not to. Ah. I didn't have no respect for nobody that was there because I didn't know them. Right. I was just like, look, because you you were there. Uh-huh. You didn't, I didn't know you. Nope. nope. I didn't know anybody. Now, those guys were messing with everyone that went on stage, right or wrong. That's right. There was a whole crew of people that, that were later come to find out they were comedians. I didn't know they were comedians. I thought they were... You know, audience members or right, something that right. were fucking with the comedians who were new jacks, new first timers like me. I didn't know these were guys were comedians. Right. I just thought they were patrons. Right. And, you know, I'm coming at stand. This is my first time ever doing stand up. I started as a MC. Mm. I was I started entertainment as an MC. Mm. Freestyle, battling, dominating microphones, dominating stages, like power, like you know, Freeze, let me tell you when I knew you was, I'm sorry to interrupt you, when you was a bad MC, bro. Let me tell you when, when I knew this. When you freestyled in a Jamaican voice, in a Jamaican style, I, yeah, yeah, I yeah, said, yeah. this nigga right here. I am on, me am on, it up and twist it up and keep it on my heart. I like my dreads long and leaky like a Thai boot about. Me writing them up and lighting them up and splurging on the dime. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm talking about. I said, you know what I mean? hey, is because a spitter. I was hitting them scene like this was very beginning of hip hop, especially right. on the West Coast. Right. There was we had Ice T. Uh I'm talking before Toddy T. Right. I'm talking before We had Lonzo we, last week we in had, the house. Yeah, Lonzo. <laughs> yo, we had um Egyptian lover. Right. You Bob know Cat. Bobcat. But MC. We had DJs that would, you know. That was with it, but what yeah. is a rapper? If what is a yeah. DJ? If it, oh, you're right. But MCs, man, we MCs, really only had Ice T. Right. We really only had Ice T at this point. Mm. So I was rap I was M- an MC at that point. Mm. I started as an MC in Pasadena. 
Altadena, Altadena, Pasadena house parties. Oh, so when you so when you got on the stage, you was already ready, huh? Yeah, in a sense, I, it was like I, that was my go to. If all else fails, nigga, you just start rhyming. Just start <laughs> rhyming if you have to, you know. But you got to look at it. The whole comedy thing for me was like, yo, I don't have to worry about. I don't have to worry about it getting a beat. I don't need an engineer. Right. I don't need a dat player. I don't need right. I don't need a fucking uh, I don't have to in rhyme. Shit. I don't have to rhyme. I don't have to stay on beat. Right. I can talk about whatever the fuck I want. Right. Uh, the only rule is they laugh. Ha, this is a piece of cake. Right. So that's how I looked at it. So that night, these dudes that were fucking with people I was looking at him before I hit the stage. Like, if these guys say anything to me, I already had it in my head. What I because that's like in, as a battle MC, you look at yeah. cats like eh, you this, already be ready. This nigga thinks he's just J. Rue the Damager, you... but he looking like Hey, you the janitor. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in right, a rhyme, you exactly. know. So it was the same thing. So when I hit the stage, which you saw, mm-hmm. I grabbed the mic from someone. Mm-hmm. I did. Uh, ignorance is bliss, you know. Walk up to a comedian that's on stage and take the mic from him. Yeah, man. What kind of bum rushing is that, man? Okay. (laughs) I can explain. (laughs) I had been there earlier that night, met Danny. Danny introduced me to the MC, who was Dante. Mm -hmm. What up, Dante? Still in the game, still doing his thing. Mm And he said, yo, you can go up tonight. Be here at 8. Okay, I was there at 8. Nervous than a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Calling up all my people. Come down. I'm going I'm to do comedy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it tonight. Nervous, man. And um, it's 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And it's now 11 o'clock, man. Everybody's looking at me like, nigga, can you lying? Sure, you were, I'm like, yeah, I'm on a, stage. Right. Sure. Wow, uh, yo, man, I can't believe I came out here. For real? You just going to try to beg to get on? Stay? Like, yo, I'm on. I'm on tonight. I'm on tonight. That's what I'm telling people. So one of these guys who'd been picking on people all night, dogging them out, he gets into it with the guy on stage. I go to Dante. I say, yo, man, am I still going on? He says, yeah, yeah, you're next. You're next. I'm like, I'm next? He's like, you're next. And um, I'm like, Shh, okay. Now I'm really nervous. Now the guy's on stage. I'm looking like as soon as he's done, I'm next. I'm next. Uh-huh, I'm next. Uh-huh. The f- one of these guys in the audience tells the dude on stage, motherfucker, you suck dicks, nigga. Get your <laughs> whack ass off the fucking stage. It was rowdy in yeah, there. Yeah, everyone man. was. It was packed. It this was is in the belly room of the comedy yeah, store. It was, it was rowdy. packed. And it was, you know. I was like, yo, what the fuck? And the dude on the mic said, if you think you could do better, I'd like to see you come up here and try. I'm doing my best. <laughs> and the dude, do you remember who that was? I don't remember who that was. I do not It was either. some, you know, some... some dude out of shape, and they was on him. They was like, nigga, you need to put that mic in the stand and run around the building, nigga. <laughs> yeah, it was on him. <laughs> So I was like, oh, they're uh, killing this dude. And if that was me, I'd be killing them. I got, oh, I can't. I hope they fuck with me. So that guy gets up out of the seat in the audience and walks on stage and starts doing comedy. The guy who was on stage just got off. Uh, they traded places. Uh, now, I've been there since 8 o'clock. Oh, because you're next. Huh? I'm next. <laughs> I'm the anticipation, the adrenaline, the... Uh, all of this is going on, and then this is going on. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. People <laughs> trading places. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this? <laughs> so I'm, I go to Dante. I'm like, yo, I'm next, right? He says, you are. You are next. <laughs> and I tell you what, you are more than welcome to go grab the mic from him because you are next. Oh, he wanted for you to do it. Huh? Yeah, but I don't know because I'm. this is comedy. I guess yeah, that's what that's you do. He, right. This is the guy who's running the show. He said, go grab the mic. Right. I'm next. Okay. It's, it's, this guy's done. So I walked up to my man. I said, yo, man, give me the mic. I mean, you're not, you're not next. <laughs> <clears throat> what else can you say? 
This is a room for Dude, people are like, what's next, going man. on? <laughs> you're not people next. are like, yo, what's going on? Because obviously people knew this dude, but I didn't know this guy. Right. You know, I'm like, he's like, what's up, man? I said, hey, nothing's up. Give me the mic. You're not next. <laughs> right? <laughs> he's like, hey, man, hold on, man. Who, who the hell is you? Now, at this point, I'm like, okay, I don't know what to do. Right. So, fuck it. I'm going to make you part of the show. So right. I say, give me the goddamn mic, nigga. <laughs> right. <laughs> you remember? You were there. Yes. That nigga went like this. Oh. <laughs> he had the mic quick to the motherfucker. Quick, man. That's what I was going to say, man. Yeah. It all happened quick, man. It, yeah, it, it was wasn't some no real, prolonged. Because, you know, I'm an MC. It was quick. I, I get, if worst case scenario, I'll, I'll get to rhyming and they'll boo me and I'll get whatever. But fuck that, nigga. Damn. This is the moment of truth. Give me the mic, man. Give me the goddamn. And he gave it to me. Right. And instantly, yo, know, once you got the mic, you got the power. Right. Now, I knew that <laughs> you, already. You knew that much, right? I knew that much. So it was like, okay. The rule, yeah, I'm here to make people laugh. So I looked at you. I said, man, sit. Sit your fat shopper ranks looking. <laughs> you look like a shopper ranks that got stung by a million bumblebees. Nigga, what's your name, nigga? What's your name, homie? He said, Faison. <laughs> and I said, Faison. Nigga, get that Star Trek shit out of here. Yeah. Phase on, phase off. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, you said that Who's fake next? Star Trek shit out of here. It was hilarious. I didn't know him. I did not. That's uh, ignorance. <coughs> right. That's ignorance. You right. understand? We that that dude is an, uh, a comedian. Right. I didn't know he was a comedian. Right. I mean, I didn't know. You probably would not even have done it, right? Of course not. Right. I'd have been like, hey, this guy's a real comedian. Yeah, I'm, I just got to wait I my turn. I thought this guy was a guy right. from the audience. Right. Me being a new comedian, even right. my first time, I am part of keeping order. Obviously, right. I have a mic, which right. is power. Right. I'm going to utilize it. Right. Then, so, then what? Then the next nigga started talking shit. I didn't. It was it was another nigga. <laughs> I didn't know this nigga. It was it was like I'm a bagger, homie. I'm from LA. We bag. I'm from Dina. Right. You out to Dina, passing it. We bag. You got to walk in the room. Shout with out to 15 my homie bags. Chris Smith. F- yeah. Fifteen bags ready at all times. Man, you got to at least be able to have got that many. Got to. So that's how I was rolling. That's how I, I roll. <laughs> I just was like killing them. Nigga said, "Nigga, who is you?" I said, "Nigga, don't worry about who I am, nigga. Who's your mom, though?" No. And it was like on from then. I was like, "Nigga, I remember I told this." <laughs> I said, nigga, your old ass mama. Nigga, this nigga's mama saw when, when she was a kid, rainbows was black and white. <laughs> Remember that one? Shook up the room. The room was packed. It All was comedians. Packed. I didn't know these We, we dudes. was dying in there, bro. We was dying. Another little But nigga. wait, that was Chris Tucker, though, That right? was Chris Tucker. He was like, nigga, who is, nigga, your mama. He said, nigga, your mama head so big. When she, dry, when she dreams, it's movies. You know, niggas like, I was like, nigga. Pfft. Niggas is like, wah, wah. I said, yo, before you say one more joke, what's her name? He's like, motherfucker, what, who her? I said, her. Who her? Nigga, the little girl you swallowed, nigga. Because every time you open your mouth, we hear that little bitch's voice. What's her name, nigga? Her parents are looking for her. Uh, Smashed him. The next nigga was A.J. Johnson. Oh, AJ. Now, I knew A.J. Johnson. I didn't know him. But I knew him. Oh, you had seen him. I had right. seen him. Right. I'm like, oh, wow. That's the little guy that um, was in the first house party with the Jerry Curl. Follow mm. the drip. Follow the drip. Right. Robin Harris had bagged on him. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Now, in my mind, because I'm stupid, I am have nothing to do with comedy or entertainment. Not really at that time. You know? I, I In my mind, I was like, oh, Robin Harris bagged on him in the movie and smashed him. I bagged on Robin Harris in real life before and got him up off me. Mm. So I could handle this little dude. Mm. Even though he's in a movie, mm. you know, I was ready for him. Mm-hmm. And I said, and, you, and he's a bagger. He can bag. Yeah. AJ's a, a He's a bagger. <laughs> and AJ told me, he said, freeze, your teeth are like Crips and Bloods. They don't get along. <laughs> <laughs> He smashed me with that to this day. Uh, I told that nigga, nigga, you little motherfucker. 
I said, nigga, if I, I said if I took out a razor and cut your jeans, a big ass squirrel tail would flap <laughs> out, nigga. <laughs> We go at it. Hilarious. But that night, I didn't know. I didn't care if he could bag or not. I said, hey, hey, before you say anything, homie, before you say anything, stand up when you talk to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I climb out that hole and stand up here on level ground. <laughs> we got to stand for this. <laughs> right. I was like, nigga, you ain't even supposed to talk unless you climb up on that stool. Where's his stool? All right. Who took his stool? So he needs a stool so he can stand on it and talk, yo. <laughs> I, cl- I was on him. He's like, <laughs> you were there, Mike. Man, it was hilarious, bro. I'm just picturing it while you're saying it, man. We have fun, We need a man. caller, y'all, man. 323-293-3375, man. Call in, man. So, uh, l- l- if you got some questions for Freeze Love. Man, okay, Freeze. Yes, sir. Back to the whole thing about you using this Jamaican tone and stuff. Right. I don't know if people really understand how gifted you are in these, doing these different wow, voices thank and you. shit, man. Thank you. Like, I, where, where does it come from? Like, how do you, is there like a technique and you can just latch on to any type of like dialect? Like, what is it that you're doing? What's, well, what's, the, what's the art of it? Oh, wow. Well. The, uh, for me, it's, I think it goes all the way back to, to cartoons. You know, I used to like to watch cartoons. You know, I'm from now. I'm, I'm five, four, homie. I'm 54. I came up in an era where cartoons were a real part of life with your family, with my brothers, <laughs> right. my sisters, you know. <laughs> and I used to try to mimic the voices I heard on the cartoons, right, mm-hmm. at school when telling jokes or when making people laugh like and it was you know and it's it's all it was really fucked up as now that i'm here in the 2020 you look back on that shit you're like god damn man, cartoons was racist and a motherfucker uh, they hell was, they yeah was, they was grimy sexist sexist <laughs> violent yeah yo a gang of violence a gang bro. of violence so it, it all goes down to me mimicking cartoons which is some voiceover actor mimicking or creating yeah. something. So I was mimicking, you know, just cartoons. Like, man, I, one of my one of my homies, Ricardo, Ricardo Valera, what up, homie? I used to hit him with the Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> really? How'd that sound? Well, it's you know, Ricardo. <laughs> I don't know if you did your homework or not, but perhaps maybe if I were to give you a stack of tortillas... <laughs> Then perhaps you can come and help me with my social studies. <laughs> because in this chapter, in this chapter, we're going to be studying Cesar Chavez. And I want to have an inside scoop. Oh, shit. Okay? Uh, and that's what has to happen. Hey, man, at least if you're willing to do that, then maybe this weekend... I can go go going going to have some down and going fishing with your family. Wait, okay, wait. Let me think of who else, man. What about the what about like uh what about Scooby Doo? Can you do Scooby Doo? Scooby Doo, I can't. And I, I yo, it's funny because <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a teacher. <laughs> it's a teacher named Mr. Barnhart. Really? Right? I used to do the Scooby Doo. Big ass teacher. This nigga had a big thick neck <laughs> and a tiny head. And it, and he had the sculptor sack and the shit was great, but he used to nigga look like Scooby Doo. So I would always get <laughs> this nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to go to the team, and if you don't finish your assignment, you will have to stay. I had it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I always do that. Like when he <laughs> turn around. <laughs> I make my deal was to make uh, the class laugh. It was showtime. I, I, you know, honestly, my whole get down. Right. I was that. That's, that's kind of what I was too, man. Yeah, I couldn't wait. You know. I would be waiting for the teacher to come up to like mess up or like forget some shit or just. I would be abusing the teacher's mistakes more than anything, man. I, I'm telling you, man. I drove some. Uh, I had one teacher named Mr. Davis, man. This poor guy. <laughs> I'm an adult now, so I could just, like, imagine. Like, I couldn't take a motherfucker like me 
What I did to this dude, I couldn't have took it. <laughs> More than Especially one day. Especially yeah. at that time, I'm talking about I was a fat ass nigga with the flat top. So what? With bumps and shit on his Immature face? Immature and shit. With fucked up teeth? Immature freeze love? <laughs> Mr. Davis, this nigga had a gray toupee. What the fuck? Yeah, this nigga oh, wore a straight choose, wig, man. He couldn't choose another color. That's what I'm saying, Why nigga. You if you're choosing hair, nigga. Yeah. I used to be Mr. Davis. Maybe you should have chose blonde. <laughs> and then you look younger and you probably relate to your students better. Or I said, Mr. Davis, you know what? You should switch it up. You should like go, you should get a black one. <laughs> and come on, come on, come on, sit down, sit down. We're talking about mathematics. We're not talking about we're not talking about what? We're not talking about what, Mr. Davis? Oh, wiggy, 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 wiggy. Come on. I was at, I was, and the dude wore the same oh, shit every day. Hilarious. A white shirt with a red tie and black hair colored, hair covered black pants with some bullshit ass kicks. Uh, he was now, garbage. Now as an adult, I'm like, wow, what a dumb fucking kid I was. Right. Hey, look, I had this teacher named Mr. Tan, right, for, for chemistry. Was he, was he light-skinned nigga? <laughs> no. Oh. No, he was like uh, some of somewhere of the Orient. You know oh, what I mean? I don't Mr. know. Mr. Tan. <laughs> yeah, so he was just one of the <laughs> smartest cats really I have ever come across in my life, right? For real. I and would... he was about like 4'11", right, 4'10", uh. real short. But in hindsight, he could have easily whooped my ass. I could tell. You know what I mean? Right. Like I thought I was a bad motherfucker, <laughs> At 16 and shit, he could have whooped my ass. But I used to fuck with him every day, bro, and use the kung fu voice when I talked uh. to him. So I'd be like, Mr. Tan, Mr. Tan, can you tell me what the, what's, what's the answer, Mr. Tan? And, like, niggas would be running. You know, that motherfucker in his had, head was like, this, oh, I can't stand this look, one. Look, what, happened is, you know, what happened is yeah, other motherfuckers can. started, like, using it too, though, to him, man. And it was, like, it was so sad. And I would be like... In the corner and shit. He put me in the hallway, man. man. It was crazy, bro. I misused. I mean, that was not cool, Mr. Tan. If you still out there, man, hey, I'm sorry. for real. Mr. <laughs> Davis, if you still out there, man, I'm, I apologize, Mr. homie. Because you were really, you, this is a man that devoted his time. Because teachers don't get paid shit. You know Especially what I'm saying? Then. Especially then. Niggas was making 32000 Man, <laughs> teachers was like, wow. They was, yo, 1984. 83 in Pasadena, Mr. Davis. Hey, man, I apologize, man. I, I'm telling you, this this dude. <laughs> man, hey, I wanted to talk about this one thing, man. Um, uh, this shit, I saw this video, man. It's crazy, man, with this dude. Do you know Delonte West, man? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 from the Cle- he used to play with Cleveland, Cleveland, right? yeah, that's dude that, uh, that got with uh, LeBron's mom. <laughs> right, that smashed moms, right? Yeah, yeah. What about him? Man, unfortunately, man, he on hard times, man. I think it's like um Of course. Mental <laughs> Of course he's on hard times. He smashes he smashes his teammate mom. Damn, man. Is this karma for that, man? Yes, nigga, look. Uh, come nigga. on, how's that go? Hey baby, I'm gonna put the coach for the team in the truck. <laughs> oh no, let me come with you, Miss James. <laughs> I'm gonna help you. And next thing you know, you booking this nigga's mom over in the fucking SUV, the team SUV. By accident? Mom? Yeah, man, fuck both of you. <laughs> moms, you, hey, moms, you're no good. You're no good, moms. You don't do that. This nigga, uh, how can this nigga play defense on that nigga after that? Yeah. This nigga like, yeah, nigga, another thing. You got to clean your room up. I'm just telling you what your mom was telling me, nigga. Because LeBron was a kid. That's cold, man. That's cold-blooded. It's fucked Cold up. Cold blooded, man. Yo, man, he's well, lucky. Dude, he got like some mental health issues, man. Or something. I'm he, sure he, he had mental health issues <laughs> then, man. He he all to, the man. fucking women in the world. <laughs> You're on NBA team, and you fuck your teammates' mom. Damn, that's cool. Nigga, when you do that, <laughs> you open a door. And you had for to put, immense fuckery and in he, your and life. Look, he had to be macking to her too. You know, well, he, he did. didn't just see her and it was all. Like, what did he say? Hey, you know what? You need to tell your son I, I can help him with his jump shot. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm gonna go through you because I know you're really running the show over there. <laughs> yeah. You the boy's mammy. <laughs> That's some old slave lame. shit. That shit is lame, man. Let's show the pictures, man. Let me see Let's this show the dude. video, man. He got mopped up by somebody. Look, that's him getting mopped up. What? 
And this dude is not playing, man. Is that LeBron whooping his ass? <laughs> is that LeBron? No. LeBron might have paid for that, man. <laughs> he could be over there on the overpass, huh? Looking down like. That's him. Oh, yeah, that's him. Man, all right. Why'd you hit him? Did he attack you first with the self defense or did you hit him? Damn. Man, I walked down the street. The man approached me with an eye button with a gun. You broke where's his gun at? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Okay. You know where his gun is? I don't give a fuck. Okay. Yo, Young champ. Me. I'm the leader of the motherfucker. Goddamn Navy Seals. He <laughs> think he said he's the leader of the Navy Seals. Oh, oh man. man. Wow. Man, I'm gonna tell you something. I say, man. I'm tell you, little red fella. <laughs> you look like a really angry ass leprechaun. Damn. Like a leprechaun. Of, I know, dude is probably tall in a motherfucker. Uh, probably. You probably, right? He probably but like he looked six, like like the leprechauns five, kicked his yeah. ass out. Like you're way too tall. <laughs> you have to hit the road. Well, I have no use for a tall leprechaun. Maybe you ought to go to the NBA. <laughs> and when you get there, lad, keep your long picker in your pants. <laughs> Don't go around fucking people's moms like you did here at the Ellsville and Leprechaunville. He was fucking Leprechaun's moms, and they was attracted to him because he was a black Leprechaun. <laughs> that's what he is, you know, a black-ass Leprechaun. So that's what happens when they don't have a pot of gold, they become bad look <laughs> instead of good look. He is a bad look leprechaun. Without his pot of gold. Without his, his, doesn't have his pot of gold. Without the gold is nothing. Has swindled it away. <laughs> Lost it. <laughs> it swindled. Uh, he swindled himself out of a good fortune. <laughs> With stupidity and fuckery. Oh. He brought it on himself. <laughs> yes. And now he's an angry, tall leprechaun. Oh, Angry. Oh, man. And I'll tell you what, bruises show up so vibrant on his yellow skin. <laughs> it's quite scuffed up. Vibrant. All right, man. <laughs> it's quite scuffed up. Oh, gosh, man. That's yo, crazy, man. man. He, yo, I feel bad for him. He's He's got some problems. He needs some help, though. He does. That's fucked no. up. Whoever was shooting, shooting the uh, whoever was uh, with the phone, like looking at Catching this the nigga. Beat down, huh? You could have threw some water on the nigga at least, <laughs> cool him off, fanned him something. And look, he was a professional with the phone because he wasn't talking to nothing. He was man. a. <laughs> he wanted. In his you. mind, he was like, "Don't say shit. Don't say shit." <laughs> right. The more he yells, the more it's gonna be worth. They don't see me. They don't, they don't see, see me. me. You can get paid as long as you don't ruin it. <laughs> but the. F- Put the camera a little closer. You might get more out of them. Get that. Uh, the nigga said, I'm the leader of the Navy SEALs. Man, that's cold, man. Damn. Need some so, help, man. was he that crazy before the ass whooping? I mean, see, that's what I'm saying. Did that Probably. ass whooping knock the sense out of him? Or, <laughs> or did that ass whooping put him back on track? And this is him landing mentally. <laughs> like, oh, damn. He's like going through everything he thought he was before the fight. I'm the leader of the Navy SEALs. He was running that through his head before it began. So he was stuck on that. Damn, man. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, you fucked your teammates, mom, man. There's nothing else That's you can say, huh, shit. man? What else come be... on, that kind of shit. What Yo, I mean, be... there's certain things you cross the line. What else can be said, man? You're asking for shit. You're opening a door for that kind of shit to happen. Yeah, man. When fuck you your that, homies' moms. Does it go you anywhere? fuck your homegirls' pops. Yeah, that's another one. If you what? If you're a chick, if it's oh. a girl and she fucks, like like a girl's, uh, if a girl fucks her friend's dad. Ah. Uh, yeah, you, come on, They can't man. never come back from that, man. Nah, man. Hey, bitch, you got to wait outside. Even if they become friends again, you got to stand outside. Can they become Stand up there by again, the mailbox, dude? bitch. Can you become friends again after nah, that? Nah, nah, nah. Hell I think no. not, You man. fucking with the family, man. The yeah, family unit. Dude. You got to keep your come dicks on, man. And, your, and, your, and your pussies away from family. <laughs> you right. Keep this shit. It's too, much, it's too much out there. This should be separate, man. You don't fuck <laughs> you that close, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I mean, other people think what you want, man. Think what you I'm just telling you what I'm thinking, man. Fuck that. There's a million people that you could go out there and fuck. You don't have to fuck anybody that you know even. 
You go meet somebody new. Oh, man. You don't just say, hey, is that your mom? <laughs> hey, well, check this out. You're giving me a ride home today, right? Because we're on the same team. Well, look. <laughs> I'm going to go a little later. I'm going to stay in the car. <laughs> Even when you get out, I'm going to stay in the car. I'm going to talk to your mom. Oh, man. Don't worry about what me and your mom are talking about. Oh, Lord. How do you pull that off, man? Man, I don't even know, man. That's grime. Hey, all right. What else, man? Um, This is kind of funny, man. Did you realize that 2020 is the year of the rat? Is it? Yes. Yeah, the, the year of the rat. Of the rat. <laughs> Damn. What's that tell you, man? What about the hey? <laughs> Niggas gonna be dropping that's, dimes this nigga, year. Nigga, <laughs> that's a good year for that one kid, that little, that uh, colorful nigga, that rainbow tooth nigga. What's oh, oh Takashi yeah, 6'9. Yeah, Takashi 6'9. It's your year, baby. This year your year, it's man. This year. It's your year. Oh, man. Snitch is gonna be out dancing in the street. Yeah. Point. And him, and him, and him, and him, and him, and him, and him. It's the year of the rat. It's the year of the rat. And, and him and mm-hmm. her and them and they hey, and he. I told and, and you told. They're going to be the year of the rat. High five. Told. Everybody get out your phone. <laughs> it's the year of the rat. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. You be following that shit, man. You think that what? shit's something. The, the, hey man, it's something to somebody. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you see, they don't look at rats the way we look at rats. Right. And that's the year. They look of the at rats rat. like food. Sometimes. Sometimes, man. They don't fuck around. Like, <laughs> hey man, hats off to them, man. Yeah. If you're gonna be a eat uh, a meat eater, eat it, man. Right. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> to judge. To judge. <laughs> what kind of Yo, there's smart fuckers out here that eat <laughs> rabbits. Right. And then you look at somebody and say, oh. You eat a motherfucking rat. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Little. Because this really happened. I mean, <laughs> this really happened, homie. Okay, Check this me. out. I, I, this is when I lived in New York. New York has this shit called Help Me Howard on the local news. Help me, Howard. Hey, I'm Howard, and I'm here to help you. It's okay. a brother, right? He goes shit. into a mechanic that may overcharge somebody, uh, okay. or he goes into a contractor that mm-hmm. overcharged the bathroom, mm-hmm. and he confronts him. He's a mm-hmm. confronting guy mm-hmm. with the cameras. He's Howard. He's there to help. Uh-huh. He's on the street <laughs> in the Bronx at a mechanic shop, right? <laughs> Typical help me Howard shit. Yo, this lady... Runs up, help me, Howard, help me, Howard. Look, this man just served me rat. He served me rat, Howard. Look at this. <laughs> and they look, this chick had a motherfucking deep fried rat sitting on a bed of fries. What? Sitting on a bed of fries. And you could fries. tell it was you a rat? You could tell it was a rat, homie. What? How said, what? Where'd you get... Where is it? She said, right here at that restaurant, right now, right now. He says, come on, come on. They left everything. <laughs> they went in, right? Uh, uh. It was some some restaurant, some fat hole, <laughs> you know, dumb fat hole, some shit, some fat hole. Uh, number one, Chinese food. Yeah, ever. Yeah, so they go in, right? He says, hey. And the camera following him? Camera's on him, man. This is live This is live New York TV. Oh, this is shit. New York City. Man. You know how many people are watching this? This is where you make the big bucks. Man, this is New York, baby. <laughs> I'm like glued. Like, what the fuck? This bitch got a rat. They go in there. He says, Howard's like, hey, this woman just purchased this meal here. He said, yeah, I remember her. He's like, you remember her? He says, yeah. He says, great. (laughs) Look what you served her. Look what you served her, sir. And dude looked at her. He said, yeah. He said, that's a rat. He said, oh, yeah, sometime uh, that tastes very good. (laughs) He said, what? Sometime. He said, sometime uh, that tastes very good. He said that. Right. Howard said, sometimes rat tastes very good. He said, oh, yeah, my country, we eat all the time. Oh, yeah. shit. We don't eat this here. Oh, uh, yeah, she order. Hilarious. I saw that. I was like, wow, this is man. crazy. They shut the spot down and all of that. But wow, it man. went down. Sometimes people don't give a fuck. They're like, look, man, I'm, that hunger shit, I'm not playing that. Hey, let me, let me tell you this story, man. I went to downtown. This is not a rat story, but like you know how they got them little like 
uh, taco stands that's like a little tiny, tiny building smaller than this little room. You know, like yeah. you walk up to the window and they give you the tacos. Yeah, yeah. Is it on a truck or is it just? No, no. It's, it's a dude on a sidewalk, right? It's permanent, though. Oh, it's permanent. Oh, those dudes. Yeah, it okay. looks like I a, know this. I, I know I'm thinking of, I am just went through about 15 of them. Yeah, in my exactly. Head. That's L.A. That's yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Exactly. They're yeah. permanent. They ain't that no bigger than this little shit right here. This thing is so... I, the tacos was a dollar, right? Smell right. good, long line and everything. I'm like, damn, fuck it. Ah, well, let me just get up on one of these, right. right? I get in line, man, and it wasn't until I got up to the uh, front that I noticed they had a C. Like, they rating was a C, man. It was a C. So, you know, like, they say a lot of stuff. You like, know what C stands for? <laughs> what? Cut out. Cut out. Go. Leave, baby. So, look, got I to asked the man. I said, damn, man, like. How y'all get a C, man? You know, like, they'll say stuff like, you know, like, um, you know, like, our hot water ain't hot enough, or we right. had the refrigerator open when they came. Shit like that, right? Excuses. So, I said, man, how y'all get a C, man? And you know what he said? <laughs> what? Before he answered me, he took his rag and killed a roach right on the counter. And he said, no, no reason. <laughs> this nigga killed a roach right in my face, bro. I said, damn, nigga, I saw you do that. He, he tried to, like, just put his hand up like he was, uh, he was like, no, 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 no reason. reason. I'm like, nigga, Not is this a cartoon? Not because of the roach I just killed. Yeah. <laughs> Not that. It was crazy, damn. dude. I said, man, I ain't hey, that man, a bitch, I don't man. Play I play that away, shit. Man. I don't even play a B. You know what B stands for, right? Better walk away. Better walk away. <laughs> A stands for A. Hey, okay. I don't play that. I don't give a fuck. And even, Me yo, either, man, dude. I try to eat. Thank God my wife can cook and I can cook. She taught me how to cook. Yeah. I cook lovely now. I'm good. Oh, fuck man. all that eating. I try not to I eat out that. like that because these motherfuckers, um, yo, man, they they just uh, they just closed down one of my spots, man, an icon in L.A. Damn. What you talking about? Uh, Amoeba? <laughs> no. No, no, a food spot. Oh, food spot. What? I don't even know if I should say it, but I feel guilty. Cause... What, Okie Dog? No, Okie Dog, man. Come on. <laughs> uh, Okie Dog is probably a C, and you know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you, but you signed you, up. You at Okie Dog. Yeah. You signing up for whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. First of all, you already drunk than a motherfucker. You better do some ab work, nigga, before nigga. you come. Right. Well, no, who you nah, talking about? man, the pantry, homie. The pantry? Downtown, oh, downtown pantry? Yeah. It's closed? They shut it down. It might be open back up, but they shut it down for roaches and shit. Damn, man. I fainted it, out there one time. Did man. you at that at the restaurant? Right up on that wall, man. For the food? No. <laughs> it was late night, man. I was at a club. I was at a Raekwon show at Unity and shit, oh, man. Oh, okay, okay. And it was smoky and niggas was oh, slam yeah. dancing and that, it was crazy, dude. When I got outside, man, I was like, uh And you see a nigga Yo, that's man. faint. Dude, after I love the club the on the ground, I was, it was me. Because of that. That's what the pantry's for. Exactly. Be on and the homie was like, man, let's just go right there, man, and just get, you need something up in you. The motherfucker has <laughs> been open nonstop for something since like 1921. Right. Never, ever, ever closed his doors. Damn. Well, nigga, They got roaches, though? Yeah, man. Come on, man. And if you got, if you never <laughs> close, those are not only they got roaches, they got bold roaches. They you got roaches. Close. It's like, hey, Residence. check it out, homie. <laughs> we in this motherfucker. Hey, since you motherfuckers don't never want to turn off the lights, you going to see us now. Because here we go. We True. on it. They need the lights Hit the butter and slide, y'all. And we got wings, nigga. We got ta -ta 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 wings flying around, nigga. You go in that motherfucker like, God damn, this motherfucker has been open. They have Damn. not shut it down and said, okay, check it out. Damn. No food for a month. We cleaning everything. They never did that. Wow, so man. They had to do it. The well, city okay, look, Freeze, you got a song, huh? I mean, you got, I got an album. album you homie. got an album, I got an you album. Just did. Yo, look, March let me, 12th. Let me just say this, right? Oh, go for it. Go uh, for March 12th, you were invited. Every, yo, all y'all come to, I, I'm throwing a listening party. It's a party. I'm performing comedy and I'm performing a song. And I got other, my homie Kiyoma's performing. Kiyoma's a dope ass MC. And I'm trying to get baby Nate dog. Mm. Yeah, he's he's working on some shit. I'm trying mm. to get him to come out oh, okay. and, and get down. Also, I got comedians, my man, um, man, uh, uh it's it's gonna be the shit is the comedy and the the music and the main thing is a party. 
Mm. I got a lot of people coming through. A lot of DJs Damn. coming through. Where is it's, it? It's at El Cid on Sunset. Okay. On Sunset. Look up El Cid. Go to freezelove.com. You can purchase tickets there. It's only 10 bucks. Get it now. It's 10 bucks. 20 at the door. Just that's the game. That's how man, it is. I, I like how but, you that just flowed off your list, man. Freezelove.com. Purchase your tickets there, man. Yeah, you get your tickets, man. man. Hey, man, because I got a wife, man. My wife is is the smart one in the family. <laughs> when it comes to business shit, I, 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 hey, I'm funny, nigga. But yeah. uh, I got a team. I got a, you know, yeah, that's I, it's great. not just me. It's, you know, it's, it's what you got to have. It's what the fuck it is. What, what the fuck? Well, we're going to play a song, man. Um, I just want to say that the album, man, I put on the album not expecting that I was going to roll out to it. You really? know, I was thinking that you was kind of going to be playing. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it I, that was, I was. That, but your playing ain't playing, though, man. That's what I'm saying, because it was really Whoa. rocking because. Thank you. I, I really rolled out to the whole thing. Hey, man. man. Bust it out, man. Let's hear a little piece. All right. It didn't come up. Oh, the email it? Oh, yes. no. Oh. What kind of boy you ain't shit is that? Oh, man. Well, hold on. All right, we're going to resend it. But okay, anyways, I'm man, I, I was impressed, bro. I had to say. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, and like I said, man, I started, um, I started as an MC. And shout out to the west coast hip-hop scene that developed right here right that's how you know like the poetess mm -hmm. that's how far i go back with the poetess mm -hmm. shout outs to to uh man the good life mm -hmm. shout outs to project blow shout outs mm -hmm. to fifth street dicks mm -hmm. shout outs to the e-bar mm -hmm. shout outs to 360 mm -hmm. shout outs to 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 man mike and nine freestyle fellowship mm -hmm. peace mm -hmm. Uh, Razcast, Medusa, man, True One, man, True Blue, all oh, LC, so many MCs that were in this whole LA underground scene, and I was at the very tip of that. I came up with with that in LA, right? right. So when I started doing comedy, it was almost out of respect that I didn't try to bridge the two. The two. Like I, I devoted when I started that night you saw me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that changed my life mm -hmm, literally mm -hmm. it was Eddie Griffin saw me that night right I started touring it was mm -hmm. it was like yo man I for, I'm I'm a MC I'm a rapper all but right now my life is comedy mm -hmm. and you know how hard we were going mm -hmm. that those first two three years me this dude. Uh, who else, man? Uh, shout outs to Alex Thomas. Yeah. Shout Guy outs to Daryl Heath. Guy Tory. Uh, oh man. Dannon. Dannon Green. Matt Marv. Man, Matt Marv. We saw earlier. Oh man. Uh, oh shoot. Uh, Joe Tory. Right. Of course, Faison, Chris Tucker. Man, of course, Melody Faison, Chris Tucker, Camacho, Kim Melanie Whitley. Camacho. Yes, uh, fucking uh, Big Les, Big Les, fucking uh, uh, uh fucking uh, Lonnie Love, mm -hmm. Al Toomer, right? Uh -huh. Yo, uh, -huh. uh Louis Honest Dix, John. Honest John. Yep. This this was I was that was we were going hard. Oh, Every when I night. just mentioned, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every five was nights out really there, really, yeah, doing five, six, yeah. seven. Yeah. Nights. I was a right. seven night well, a week. Sometimes you do exactly. Sometimes it's three times a night though. Too. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Because so. we would be at the comedy store on on Monday for potluck. They go down to U.S. room. Go down to uh, U.S. and Hope, Hope Flood. Shout out to Hope yeah, Flood. Hope Flood. Exactly. Shout out to Shane. Yeah, you see exactly. all these people are just like I know these people. We, right, we grind together. Right, we work. We get it in. That, and we were hard body man. I yeah. mean, and it was that camaraderie that was. You know, uh, is is definitely not what it is now. Right. You know, but this is we've all evolved to whatever. But right. it was that little nucleus of young urban comedians trying to find their way in their voice, and it was dope to be a part of that. Okay, here we go. Great. So nah, man, it was, man. It was, it was. And the thing is, man, um, who I seen recently? Um, oh, you well, you were on our documentary. Uh, freeze! Yeah, um, becoming a comic documentary. Uh, Mike Williams, man, was a big part of it too, man. And every time I see him, I make sure I let him know, man, that like 
so many people's careers and just development and everything man, came shout from Mike, out to Williams. Mike Williams. Man, listen, Mike Williams, the comedy act. Man, that room, boy. Think of who came out of there, oh, man. Yes, when you dude. think of his DL, you think of Jamie Foxx. Uh, Robin Harris. Robin Harris uh, was uh, um, the first cat I saw. Ronaldo Ray. On Ronaldo him. Ray. Paul Mooney. Right. Paul Fucking, Mooney. I mean, Paul Mooney used to be in Hollywood and would always come back to the hood and get it in too. Mm-hmm. That was a guy. I, I hats off to Paul Mooney because that was a that was a cat that let us know that's how you do it. You don't just go to Hollywood and go in and rock all the Hollywood clubs. Right. And then don't come to the hood. Yeah, then you can't do five minutes and shit right. in the hood you're spot. You're too big. Because, you, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Nah, you got to have And both. you're not connected enough. You know right. What I mean? And if you're in that Hollywood shit, try to pull other people in. Right. Hey, I, I, I pull people in. Right. I, yo, right. a lot of people know. Yeah, Freeze always look out. I do look. I look right. out. Right. Because I know people looked out for me. Shout out to Eddie Griffin. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, shout outs to fucking... Uh, Eddie Griffin put me on the main stage in the big room for the first time. Man, he... And he didn't even know me, really. You know look, what I mean? Yo, hold on, let me write this shit, because I'm faded, Mike. Damn, and man, I'm you been t- trying to send an I, email for right, about nigga, 20 I, minutes. Hey, shout outs, shout outs to California Cannabis. <laughs> yeah, baby, look at that there. These my people, man. They be hooking. They say, yo, freeze, Let man. me see that right quick. Look at that beautiful artwork. It says, what do up not... to my homie G. Wait, Campbell? no, it says, do not try to send emails. Um, Is that what it says? Usage. Yeah, it says that on there. Because, look, <laughs> it's contact. And I don't have a C-O-N-T-A-C-T T. at Morris Media. M- O R R I S M E D I A. Now. Dot com. Okay. You're dot not com. putting the dot com on it. Stu- oh, Morris Media Studios, man. Look. Oh, see. Second line right there, man. Hey, man, you guys are going to have to get a shorter email. <laughs> or at least, you know, keep this email and then get like a hey, man, high version. Me? Huh? You want me to type it? Hold on, homie. I'm I'm in it. I'm you committed now. You use one thumb and shit. S T. See, I'm just counting it out as I'm typing. D I O S dot C O M. Now you look at that. What does that say? That says it's right. Man, he probably got like three ta- three. I know three it's emails not you. It's not of- you. I know it's me. I know. Hey, <laughs> shout out, California. Wait, Canada. did it go though? It went. Oh. It went. Watch. He's gonna have it. And I'm happy, man. Nah, Thank Leron you. be on it. Yo, Leron is on deck. Homie's killing it. We now, think, this man. Song, now, All right, man. Let me tell you about this song, Mike. Okay. Now this song is called Royal Lick, right? Mm-hmm. And the reason I did this song is because I wanted to show a fast variety. Mm. On my album, I didn't just want to do like a regular old hip to the bebop or Scooby Doo. Guess what, America? <laughs> we, we love, love you. you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's great. Don't get me wrong, that's fabulous. But however, I'm a man of a million voices, so I just gave a sample. Like there, a whole bunch of different type voices, different type music genres and whatnot. I put my mind to it. And I put my best foot forward. And this song is called Royal Lick. Shout out to our own girl, Megan Markle. She's from California. She's from, isn't she from like Carson or something? I don't even know, man. I believe she is, man. Maybe even the Dana Heights. All right, man, let's do it. All right, man, here we go. All right. This one's called the Royal Lick. It's his fridge, love, right? Here we go. Hey, yo, I'm more than stopping in me big black chucks. Can't stop, won't stop. Got to get me box. Meet me at the eye up. Don't forget your Glock. Got this underground spot that you and I cannot. Big on me at the door. Been knowing him for years. He ain't saying nothing long as we kick him in. He used to be a cop. Got a pop for slinging rock. Now these silly ass blokes got him watching they spot on me. I've been waiting for a lick like this. It's way too simple. Too easy to resist. Oh, we go through the front door. Smooth lock silk. Any fool like that. Fool, that's the fool against me. Don't look up, look at the wall, hug the floor, thank them all. For a good evening, cause at least you're alive. Now, start counting. Don't look up, look at the wall, hug the floor, thank them all. For a good evening. 
me, cause at least you're alive. Now, start counting. Hey, yo, this big frozen, the chosen one, the coldest one. Homie, how this gone? I'm about to go start this fat bastard. Hey, yo, you're moving too slow like you ain't heard what I said. Take off your fucking walking ring. Put it in the bag. Ain't nothing, nothing worth your life, fat boy. Think again about life and joy. Unless you want to get sprayed, take them dollars out your G string. We came to get paid. Break yourself. Bars, nigga. Look at the man. Okay, Freeze, look. Here's what I want you to do. Yo. Turn it down. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to give a um a rating of this song as a um New York Dominican. Okay. Okay, so listen, listen. This song, okay, to me, somebody, <laughs> somebody gonna like, they're gonna love that song. They're gonna love it. Now, I, to me, personally, <laughs> yo soy dominicano, yo como no mira de suerte en tu mano, comprende ahí. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna make something, I'm not gonna say something, and mean something else, okay? Uh-huh. What I'm gonna tell you, uh-huh. what I'm going to tell you is is from from my heart. <laughs> it's from my heart, okay? I give him that song a a ten. A ten. This a ten. Do you know why? Why? Because okay, like to me, that song is about somebody robbing somebody. Oh. You understand? He said leak. He said leak. He said look. He said meet me at the what he said the IHOP. Uh-huh. Meet me at the IHOP. Don't forget you Glock. <laughs> Don't forget you got. I had this underground spot that you and I could knock. Mm. Oh, you're gonna mm. knock the underground? <laughs> okay. I wanna see this. I that had my attention. Man, you were really listening. I was listening. I smoking the motor the tranquilo. Oh. California cannabis. Ooh. Listen, Papi. They made me listen to this song. I listen. Not only with my ears, I listen with my eyes. <laughs> That's why the album is called Photo Sentences. Photo Sentences. Damn, you know the album too? Yeah, the album is called Photo Sentences. I get all of the free love shit. I get that album, that song, 18, 20, even 20, 10 twice. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, <laughs> seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, dos times. Okay, wait. I give what, it a like 20, 20. Well, what about your Russian homie, man? How he this, feel about this, it? This, this song, if you're liking this song, this song is, uh, is I love you, the hip hop. <laughs> yeah, the hip hop is, is good good music. <laughs> I like this song. It's uh, anything is talking about people robbing and stealing, I can relate to, okay? I like this song. It's good. Free love is good, guys. Oh, you like that hardcore? I man? like it. I like anything that has you moving the the uh, the blood through my vein. <laughs> it gets me excited and, and and really want to like you know go drink and fucking drink and rob people. I like that. I like that song. Oh man, yeah. you like that type? Yeah, I didn't great. know you was down with that, man. Yes, I love it. Oh man! Oh, uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> what about uh, what about an Englishman? <laughs> if you now, if you like my opinion and my bloody opinion, I don't like it. Bloody. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. And here's why. Yeah, okay. He talks. He uses some sort of a British accent. Some some. It's, it's hardly a model of what you would use. <laughs> a model. It's not a model voice. <laughs> It's an idea. It's some sort of a. It's an American take. Wait, are you hating on this dude? No, I'm not hating on him, mate. I'm glad that he took it. Look, look, he took on quite a feat now, didn't he? <laughs> he did, he did. And I'm just saying, this is quite a feat now, isn't it? 
He didn't take it. He didn't. He didn't pull back any punches. He, he he gave it his best. But at the end of the day, he's a fucking yank, man. And we could tell. And that's the problem. It's like, wait a minute. We're imitating you. <laughs> so how the fuck are you going to imitate us? You understand it? That's real good. That's because that's how it's going. <laughs> oh, what do you think? It was the influence of all British hip hop. Oh. We listen to Biggie Smalls. We listen to Rock M. You understand? Right. Right. We do our very fucking best. <laughs> your homework. <laughs> yeah, we go hard, mate. But who's he listening to? How can he just fuck? Well, you just watch an episode of Top Boy, and here he goes <laughs> off making songs now in the studio, and whatnot. He's off his fucking rockers. I don't. I'm not going to encourage it. Oh. I want it to end here. He said, I'm not going to encourage it. I want it, it to end here, mate. Oh, Enough's man. enough, fam. Oh. Who's he think he is? Oh, hilarious. Who's this bloke think he is? He's from Lo- he's from Los Angeles. <laughs> He's, he's from Los Angeles. He's not from Brixton. He's not from Manchester. Hey, you know what? What just popped into my head? <laughs> you fucking grew up with uh, Rodney King, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is hilarious, man. Yeah, Rodney, go rest his soul. He, <laughs> and Rodney stole your bike, man. You man, I look, I got a special coming out. And I talk all about it. Oh, sweet. You gotta get my special. Ah. Oh. It's called Finally Freeze Love. It's a f- fan f- fucking fantastic video. It's a film. It's a documentary <laughs> comedy. It's a all documentary of that. comedy. Yeah. It's it's something you ain't never Hilarious. seen before, mate. Right? It's my old story. Not all of my story, but a good part of it. Ooh. It's very entertaining. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good piece of work. I'm proud of it. My mom would be proud of it, go rest her soul, if she was here to see it. She's actually already saw it, I'm sure, in the afterlife. Damn. Yeah, Mark, it's some fucking good weed, mate. Oh, I'm man. fucking roasted. I Tell don't know if I can stop it. talking like this. You can't even stop. I don't know, but man. this might come in handy coming home. If I get pulled over, I'm going to be like, <laughs> hey, wait, wait up now, chap, wait up. <laughs> now, I'm going to be quite frank with you. I grew up with Rodney King. <laughs> I know how you bastards work, mate. <laughs> Might as well put your gun in your holster. Because uh, I'm not going for it. You're not going to need it. I, I I will put on the white voice. Fucking hilarious, man. Damn. Freeze, what can you tell people before we leave here, man? Um, advice, man, for some, somebody new that's, that used to re- wreck the classroom like you. And I uh, want to get in this shit, man. What Yo, do? do it. Do it. That's it. I mean, it's the the sooner the better. Sooner the better. Because I'm going to tell you, being funny, that's that's only one part of it. Mm-hmm. And in today's real deal market, it's not even, it's, it is not even one of the top things to do. Right. It's it. not the important part. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. People don't give a fuck how funny, how non-funny. They don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Being funny is just a part of it, but this is a craft, mm-hmm. as you know. Mm-hmm. Stand up is a craft, and it's a it's a practicing craft. You can't really um, go to read a book about it or watch a video about it. you. You can, but at the end of the day, you got to go do it. Right. You know what I'm saying, and that's going to be the deciding factor. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people, I know a lot of people that really wanted to do stand-up until they tried it. Mm-hmm. And then when they tried it, they was mm-hmm. like, ah, oh, fuck this. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. do not like it. They oh, don't, you know? I know now, somebody my- well. Oh, God, this nigga, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey. He talked all kind of shit. <laughs> oh. He, he was- talked, oh, man, and, and quit <laughs> after about two times talking about, oh, man, that was too easy. I say, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> hey, hey, whatever you got to say to sleep at night, yeah. homie. That's what, you gotta, that's what you made up in your head, nigga. This is not easy, homie. Exactly. This is, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not brain surgery either, though. It's you know the, what I'm saying? It's the guts part of it that you got to have, man. You got to have guts, but you know what, man? Shit, you got to have guts to ride the bus at four in the morning to go make donuts. True, man. and everybody ain't built for that. Everybody's not. So it's that's why I say you got this is something you have to try. Right. You have to try. And one, two times is not a, I mean, 
one time is 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 good, but you're gonna have to try at least. Yeah, yeah. Put to, some time into it. Say you tried, you do have to do it more. Yeah. But the the ones that do it one time, man, are the ones. That, that's a lot of people, bro. That's most people have tried the shit one time. Yeah, man. I mean, do not. <laughs> Don't try this one time and then think you're, hey, I'm a comedian. Right. Nah. Yeah. I've been doing this 27. This will be my 28th year. Mm Mm-hmm. And that ain't shit Mm -hmm. compared to how long some people have been doing this. Mm Mm-hmm. Shout out to Chris Rock. Mm Mm-hmm. Dave Chappelle. Eddie Murphy. Mm Mm-hmm. T.L. Hughley. Shout out to Eddie Murphy coming shout back, Eddie man. Br- yeah, shout out to Ed, man. Come on. Let's, let's oh. get this out. People the comedian, d- well, had the oh, nerve to man, doubt I, Eddie Murphy, I never bro. doubted that. How, I how never do you do that, man? You this can't. Is, I was just like, well, when he's ready, he will. Right. Because you can't do this and do it that well and just not do it. And he just show and prove <clears throat> all his character, Shrek and all that type shit, all the movies, all the interviews, everything, man. He's always the funniest he's, guy in the room, man. He's built for this. This is yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. what he's here for. Yeah, exactly. And he's put a lot of people on. He's set. He's set a a bar, mm-hmm. a standard mm-hmm. of quality mm-hmm. that you know natural, natural. That shit is natural. And he still puts in the work. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Just being naturally funny, right. you still have to put in the work at every single level. Right. So, you know, hey, man, it's it's like boxing. I mean, you, you, you don't get your ass kicked, but your ego gets slapped the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. A lot of people oh. got major egos, think they do stand up, and they get one of them taps on the ego. Oh, I'll never do that again. Man. Well, the same for you. Hey, no one has died more deaths than me, man. And I'm open about it, bro. When I fucking came back, man, I, I've died a thousand deaths, man. I just could yeah. not give up, though. You know what I mean? Hey, man. I just could not give up. I died a thousand deaths, and that shit hurt on the way home in the car, man. <laughs> you don't know what you did wrong. Like, damn, man. It was that one fat bitch. <laughs> she was yeah. laughing at everybody, and then when I got up there, she wouldn't laugh, so nobody else yeah, wanted yeah, to laugh. Yeah, yeah. You start blaming motherfuckers. You start no, blaming bro. Man. No, it's me. This shit damn. is, that's, but that's what, that's the addiction. Mm-hmm. That's what comedians, well, I don't know. I can't speak for all comedians. I can speak for myself. Mm-hmm. That is what the hook is. That if. Mm-hmm. What if mm-hmm. these motherfuckers don't find me funny right. tonight? Mm-hmm. What if? Mm-hmm. And that is always, always, always a possibility. Right. Every time. Always a possibility. And me, I oh, that shit is like... <laughs> like bitch hold oh, on all you motherfuckers I'm funny god damn it I don't know why they working with you dumb motherfucker you wanna say that but you can't say that right cause then you really die yeah then they laugh you, at you then they laugh at you die <laughs> ah, look at he called that's dumb man. he took his dumb ass up there ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Dave Freeze, we gotta wrap it up, man. Oh, man. I love it, man. I, hey, thank you, homie. I had so much fun. I gotta with have you, bro. you on my show at Freeze yes, Talks. Check man, out my listen. show, Freeze Talks, on YouTube. Yeah, tell them all the places they can find man, you, Freeze. Find me first off at freezelove.com. F R E E Z L U V dot com. You can find me on YouTube at Freeze Talks on my podcast, F-R-E-E-Z-T-A-L-K-S. You can find me on Instagram at Freeze Love Comedy, F-R-E-E-Z-L-U-V. That, I say that because if you go the other spelling, you'll never find me. I'm right. a true hip-hop spelling. Right. F-R-E-E-Z-L-U-V Comedy. Right. On Twitter, Facebook, and uh, what's the other one? Instagram. Mm-hmm. What's the other one? I just got the newest shit, uh, TikTok. TikTok. You fuck with that? Nah, I ain't on TikTok. Yeah, you gotta get TikTok, man. You gotta get these shits, TikTok. man. TikTok, what the hell? Hey, is that, look, man? man. You think I like saying, you sure hey, you gotta TikTok? get TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> you gotta get TikTok, man. Yeah, clock you out. gotta get it. You gotta get this shit. All right, man. I'm gonna get download that shit tonight, yep. man. Follow me at King Mike Boogie on TikTok, nigga. <laughs> Yo, thank you for having we me. We out of here, man. 5,000 G. Big, big, big up to LaRon. Potus in the building. Morris Media, we out. Thank you guys. Five thousand G. Hey, oh man, I love that lovely.
happiness right there from sea to shining sea i'm the only mc to see from sea to shining sea i'm the only mc to see from sea to shining sea i'm the only mc to see you a thunderstorm and i'm